Hey guys, happy holidays. It's getting close to Christmas. Uh, I want to give my shout out to Ace Hardware. I have an Ace Hardware here in Acton, California, where I live. Uh, you'll find that if you're talking about the RV sink drains, bolts, nuts, screws, just about anything. If you talk to your hardware store, your local hardware store, you can find that you're they have jobbers where they just order stuff in bulk and they can probably get you the pieces that you need so try to support your local businesses hey i want to tell you that i got a great response in a short amount of time from the episode i did on how to make a scarf joint jig and um last episode where i showed you how to cut holes in coffee cans uh, so you could put a neck through i mentioned doing a craft just before Christmas where you take one of these square uh, boxes that may not be the right size for your cigar box guitar and turning it into something like this a craft that you can uh, give out maybe for a gift and and I had some people asking me about this so this episode is about how to turn this into this and we're going to do a holiday themed one all right, guys, real quick, what I got going on the bench here is I've got another coffee can going on, the same one I was working on the last time. We're starting to get the layout done and the graphics. I like that headstock graphic. I'll share more about this in a future episode. Uh, there's going to be this 1920 Buffalo Head Nickel right up there. That's going to look pretty slick. And you can't beat... The graphics on the top of this can in here this is really nice it's got rust along the seams and everything anyway i'm just doing the mock-up but let's get this off to the side and do a couple of these purses so a quick look at what we're going to end up with close up here you've got a camacho box nice and square um, it's got box corners on it we know where to get those it's got this latch it's got an eye bolt a short eye bolt it's got this handle that you can order and it comes together with clavis pins don't forget when you put if you use these clavis pins they have a flat head pin that goes through that's threaded over to here i've learned to put uh, loctite on those threads because they don't come apart and then you've got um this tassel and uh, same graphic same means of doing the graphic we always do you pick your graphic out you size it uh, remember the episode i did called graphics i mean there's been a ton of thousands of people watching it so it must be pretty popular anyway i'll give you a link and you just uh decoupage your graphic on the box so let's take a closer look at how we do this first i've got a, a camacho box here um and as usual what i'm going to do is i'm going to grind this all off i'm going to use care to make sure that i don't mar up the lacquer on the sides of the top but i'm going to grind this off and i'm going to pull this fuzz off of here the reason i pull the fuzz off is if you leave it on this stuff attracts anything it gets nothing near dust hair just about anything this always looks dirty so i just take this to a belt sander and make sure that this is nice and roughed up um, sometimes these aren't really flat and you'll find that out when you're grinding it's okay if this stuff is still on here but top and bottom are leveled out and sanded almost forgot one to give a quick shout out to kramer's pipe and tobacco more than 65 years of business in beverly hills california they were the source of a lot of my camacho boxes including this one Okay, I want to do a quick rundown on the parts here. I've got these faux bamboo uh, purse handles. They come with a hole in them. They come with uh, two per package. I've got these. I'm a, an old crane operator out of the oil fields. I call these clavis pins. I don't, don't know what they call them. Uh, round, half inch, round hooks. Uh, they've got threaded uh, pins that go through them to tie into these like so um, of course we've got our eye bolts short eye bolts there are a number of latches you can use it depending on the style um, these are the ones I typically use uh, part of them goes on 
the box right here, the lid, and the other part goes right here. What else do I have here? Oh, the box corners, I always use those. And um, I use brass uh, screws on these because they kind of get an, give an accent. And then I put some kind of tassel on it. So I don't know why. I guess people like that. But anyway, those are the parts you'll need. Now, as always, plan on making more than one of these. Uh, and if you're using the same kind of box or basically the same kind of box, where you're going to drill holes and, and everything else is, is kind of uh, the same. So I've made a template. And what this template does is it tells me where to drill the holes for the latch part that goes on to the top of the box. We know where the uh, corner holes are going to go because that's self-explanatory when you lay them on there. But where these eye bolts go, you're going to come and measure off the center. And then either way, depending on how wide your handles are. So I've got a small bit in my cordless, the same size I would use to put box corners on. And with my template, I just lay the template on here like so. I can ta tape it down if necessary. But I've got a hole where the latch is going to go. And then I've got a hole here where the eye bolt for the handle is going to go. And those are drilled. Now while I'm here, I'm going to take the box corners and I'm going to go both on the top, bottom, and sides and drill those holes in while I'm doing my setup. I'm going to do that on all the corners, both top and bottom. Now I find a bit that's just a tad bigger than the eye bolt and go to the pilot holes I drilled and drill each side out so these will fit in. You'll notice that these are tight and I can actually screw them in. That's a good idea because you don't want this stuff getting all sloppy. Okay, I have both eye bolts in run down all the way. A uh, little tip, put a tad bit of Loctite right there, just a little drop. And then run these down, put a back up on them. And then if you want, you can take a bolt cut or something and nip that off, but make sure everything's tight there. While you have the box open, make sure everything is cleaned out now that all the drilling is done. And as I do with all my Camacho boxes, I put quick seal clear adhesive caulk all around here. Uh, it makes the boxes tight. They don't fall apart if they get dropped. Whether it's a guitar or purse, make sure you do that. Okay, I've got a very small Phillips head in my driver here. I'm going to set the clutch way down because I'm going to be using very small uh, screws and I don't want to strip them out. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this latch and I'm going to put it into the holes I pre-drilled. Let's see if I can make this work. There we go. Now I'm going to swing this out of the way. You notice I didn't drill any pilot holes. I'm actually going to put this on here like so and line this up and make sure that everything is tight and then I'm going to drill the holes. So I've got the latch closed. I'm pulling on it this way to make sure that there's pressure on the lid pulling the lid down. I'm not worried about this other side here. I'm just going to drill the pilot hole right here. like so. I'm going to put the screw in here and then I'm going to worry about this side. I didn't tighten that all the way up yet, but as I pull that down, I'm going to put pressure down on this one and drill the pilot hole here. So this is closed all the way. This is tight. Now make sure you don't drill through your own finger here. And then we'll put a screw in there and that'll be done. 
Okay, there we go, just like that. Nice and tight, opens and closes easily. Okay, now I'm gonna take these clavis pins here. It's got a threaded pin on it. That means that this is threaded, this is open, so it slides through here like that. Now I'm gonna want the part with the slot in it for the screwdriver to be coming in from this way. So I need this to point up and the threaded part to be over here. So I'm just gonna do like this, lay it down and then get the purse handle. So I wanna show you up close here. This purse handle has a hole in it right there that this pin slides through and then this goes like so. Before I forget one more time you always want to take a little bit of Loctite and put just a dab of it right there. So when you put this through here, let me, let me see. There we go. And now I'm going to need a very small flathead screwdriver. But I'll tighten that up and then that Loctite will hold this here and you end up with this. All right, running that in and getting it tight with this little tiny flat uh, headed screw into there. And this is all done now. Now's the time to do the graphic. You don't want to be doing the graphic before this part. I know this stuff will get in the way a little bit, but you're drilling, you're working, you're going to scratch your graphic up or whatever. Anyway, now's the time for the graphic. So you size your graphic. Again, there's that episode on how to do graphics for cigar boxes. There's a link that's showing up where that eye is. You put the graphic on front and back. And then finally put on your box corners and you're good to go. All right, last box corner on. There we go. This is a really easy, easy project. As long as you've got the right pieces, uh, you've got your template. It, it's, it's just a matter of finding the center of the box is the most important thing. This box could be bigger or taller or whatever. As long as you've got one of these that you can fold the si size up to the center of the box, it matches the spacing on the handles and it's got the latch you're using. You basically mark the center of the box, line that up and you're good to go. Again, don't forget Loctite. You don't want to be responsible for this coming off and being the embarrassment in the socialite circle. All right, there it is. Uh, opens right up. Got a little clasp on it. Everybody seems to like this, getting good feedback from it, from people that see it uh, by picking it up and also off the internet. So I want to thank you, wish you a happy holiday. I'll try to get another video or two out before Christmas. Don't forget, subscribe here. You're gonna see my email address in a couple seconds here. My subscribe button is the round one in the middle and then my episode links where you can uh, hit my playlist if you're bored or on a trip. So once again, thanks for your support and I'll see you soon.